So after two hours or three hours, you go and you smooth it up, and next day it's perfect for tiling. We certainly have a lot of programs that are geared towards contractors, uh, people in the trades who are looking to perhaps gain a certificate. And then we offer classes for personal enrichment. I'm retired and I just bought my retirement home and what the the basement is not completed. You know, it's framed out but it's not completed. But a lot of work I'm gonna be doing myself, you know. So uh, this is a good start. The tile is twelve. So the first layout we put in eleven. Debra asked me, you know, to show the people of the house, you know, for repairing around their house, small repairing. For example, electric, plumbing, stuff who somebody have to know, you know, every day. He don't need to call one plumber, but he can do it by himself. Take the basic point in the center. Exactly. The exactly. Put the line on the center. Yeah. I took the plastering, electrical, this uh, tiling, Blend and backsplash. Border. And the, after you have this way... Students the, ask me for, you know, for subjects that they want to learn. Uh, <laughs> ones that are that are really popular are plumbing, electricity, and tile. Those always fill up quickly. And they're uh, running now for $50 per class. If you really want to tile your bathroom and you're willing to do research, you can come take my, my class, uh, follow my handouts, you know, and go home. We do the dry run here. I like to tell my students, make mistakes here, then go home and try it. I came in here with zero knowledge, and I left here with a little something. They save a lot of money if they do the job themselves, and they save a lot of money if they know what the contractor should be doing. Because, you know, after you take the class we're doing tonight, ceramic tile, uh, you know, if you're aware of the right way to do tile and you see that your contractor isn't doing it that way, then you can go, wait, stop, stop. I, I could see it now, me with my, uh, my saw, my hammers, and my, and, my, and my gun. They've cut away the side here uh, in order to show you the componentry inside a typical wind generator. We have an increasing number of classes that are geared towards um, renewable energy. And we're going to uh, talk about the anatomy of a wind generator uh, a little later on. This is our first wind course at CUNY. These turbines that we'll be talking about in this course are for typical residential and small-scale commercial application. Regular. Let's hope to get a strong foundation in how to produce wind energy, how, how to sell it, how to promote it. Our meter happens to be on the front of this uh, voltage regulator. They'll learn uh, basic principles on site evaluation for wind energy systems. They will learn how to configure a basic uh, wind energy system, how to sell a system, and how to deal with the paperwork for um, getting a system approved for operation on the grid. I think there's a lot of places for wind turbine technology to go in cities. The college is willing to take a chance on, you know, training people. Back in 1990, I became a vegetarian for, for the environment. And then from there, it was just a gradual process of educating myself and, you know, getting into buying sustainably made clothes. And I think going into renewable energies is my fit. So that's why I'm here. A lot of the students are very interested in um, the environment that they live in and they're concerned about things like global warming and air pollution, but also uh, they see this as the future of energy production and a lot of them are interested in getting involved in this industry uh, early on.